All right, folks, I figured we would talk about my Gigabyte Z370 HD3 motherboard. Now, I've had this since September 2019, and uh, it's been featured in quite a few uh, builds on the channel. Good motherboard overall. Uh, let's, uh, let's talk about the features, and then we will talk about the pros and cons of it. All right, so this is... Uh, set up for uh, 8th gen CPUs and with the BIOS update it uh, will support 9th gen so I believe out of the box I was good to go for an i5-9600K of course somewhere on my channel I've got a, a video of me um, you know doing a uh, test of it CPU socket LA, LGA 1151 and uh, graphics interfaces so we've got PCI Express 3.0 by 16, and we've got two PCI Express 3.0s by 4. So this is great for uh, not only having one card, but a uh, secondary card. So I sometimes will use a secondary card inside of one computer to record uh, with OBS or, or whatever. Um, so that, that aspect's nice. Now, having the bigger uh, slot there, is also good for uh, expansion cards uh, as some do not fit in the uh, the three PCI Express 3.0 by ones that are here but uh, with all that you should be able to add additional uh, USB uh, 3.0s if you want if you want to add additional uh, M.2s you can do that and a whole host of other things that you can put in your expansion cards now uh, since I mentioned M.2 one of the cons of this motherboard is that it only has one M.2. Um, it's probably, you know, one of my biggest uh, things I don't like about this motherboard is having the single. So now I'd have to use one of the existing slots to put in a uh, additional uh, expansion card and put a M.2 on it. All right. So for... Uh, Four DIMMs for RAM, so 288-pin DDR4. You've got six SATA 3 connectors. This has uh, got RAID and uh, eight USB 3.1 Gen 1 and six USB 2.0s capability. All kinds of uh, audio connectors on it. It supports uh, RGB lights and uh, obviously uh, also has Ethernet. So video connectors. It's going to have um, HDMI and dual DVI, no display port. So um, I don't like the fact it doesn't have display port. Now, whether this one needs it or not, it's another story. But, uh, you know, all things considered, uh, since it does have a PS2 connector, which I don't know why they bother having that, but uh, it would have been nice to have display port. Uh, it also does not have USB uh, 3.1, uh, so uh, it doesn't have USB Type C. All right, so that that is uh, kind of a negative. There is uh, I have a lot of cables for my phones that are uh, uh, Type C to Type C, so it's kind of nice to just plug it in the back. But uh, that's another story. So. Um, Let's look at some of the other features. Of course, it has a CMOS battery, which you would expect, right? Um, in case you ever have to you screw something up in your BIOS, there's a good place to uh, start with a, uh, with a reset. Um, this will support um, two-way crossfire multi-graphics. I want to make sure I put that in there. And has decent spacing in it for uh, airflow. Okay, so other things that are nice about this, if you have a case that has four USB 3.0s uh, on it, this has on the uh, motherboard two uh, USB 3.0 connectors. So you will definitely be able to take full advantage of that. Um, and I, you know, in case you have like the uh, Rosewill Thunder Z full tower, which does have that, uh, that's, that's a nice thing there. Now, uh, CPU power-wise, this is a 2x4, so you, uh, if you're buying a power supply, make sure that you have that, right? There are some cheaper 500-watt PSUs out there that ha only have singles, and, uh, and you 
going to end up having to get another power supply. So, of course, you know, this has HD audio and, and USB 2.0 connectors, as you would expect. Now, another thing I really like about this, um, this honestly, out of the recent motherboards I have worked with, uh, this has probably the most user-friendly uh, front panel. Now, I can't remember if it came with a G connector, but I, I do believe G connector will easily fit in here. Um, but you can you can see by looking at this picture um, the positive and negative terminals are basically labeled right so you see basically a plus sign uh, through your positive for all the connectors and if you look down below it also has the text in there so you can look at that figure out which cable you want and just in case you know you're not sure you will be able to look at the pins and go okay that's the positive uh, that's a negative so really good and this one is you know puts the uh, the speaker uh, connection right there too so easy enough for you to see that and uh, you know that is that is really nice right so you also have uh, a diagnostics thing there that would tell you if there's a card problem with your uh, graphics your CPU your RAM or your uh, your boot device and so folks you know overall um, I definitely uh, think this is a, uh, a winner as far as uh, motherboards go I know it's not uh, obviously not brand new it's got a lot of great features um, and I think you know most people will be very happy with it um, price isn't that bad definitely can get a hold of these uh, now for a decent price uh something else that i failed to discuss got a decent amount of system fans uh if i remember correctly it only has one cpu fan which uh you know good or bad uh it's always kind of nice to have have two of those on the motherboard so they have to use some kind of splitting device but other than that um uh, it's it is very uh, very good motherboard and uh, I was happy with it um, and I think you probably will be too. Thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.